Hey everybody, welcome back to my video. So today I'm going to teach you how to kind of fake it till you make it with your um, either engagement pictures or your maternity pictures, especially if you're unable to afford a photographer and you have your phone. So I'm going to teach you how to kind of make it seem like you've went somewhere to take your pictures and also talk about how you can, um, you know, take your pictures at home. So what you will just do is um, click Canva. Let me get out of here. You're going to go to Instagram post. Hit the blank. Now we're going to move over to photos. And let's say that you are having an engagement party. I mean, engagement, engagement for your wedding. So I'm literally going to take this picture and I'm going to remove the background. But in this instance, you will use a picture that you've already taken. And you can invest in like a tripod or you can see about propping your phone up on different stuff and just using the timer. But if you have like a picture like this, I'm going to teach you right now how to remove the background from it. So you're going to go to effects, hit background remover, give it a couple seconds to remove the background and there you have it now we're going to hit the plus sign now we're going to go to photos and now we're going to choose let's say some background okay they don't really have background that I like so we're going to go to scenery and now, and now it's just all about choosing the right background so make your background make sense so if you are having a winter wedding possibly you and your spouse want to you know have like on coats and you know um different winter gear in order for this background to make sense i'm just going to show you um how to put how to fix this picture up to make it make sense so you're going to go to position and now you're going to Actually, you're going to move this out the way. But normally you will be able to hit like forward or backwards. So what I have to do is remove the picture that I took already of the engaged couple. Now I have to delete them. Stretch this picture completely out. Hit that. And you know, I might I may even find a new picture to make it make sense so you guys can see, especially if you're having like a winter um gathering and you wanted to use like a winter background for your gathering for your pictures. So I'm gonna show you. Let's see, winter couple, but again, you would use your own picture. So perfect. Let's use this one. Um, you know, I don't want to use that one because I want a full body picture, so I'm going to delete that. I'm going to go back and do something like that. So, go there, effects, background remover, and again, it's all about playing with it. So, this picture may actually not work, or it may work, but you see how they are in winter gear, but you just really kind of want to make it seem like it looks real. So you have to play around with the picture. But that that's um, understandable, too. That looks pretty much real. So let's try a different picture. Let's hit the trash can to delete them. And let's see... Let's try this picture. And Canva has like a lot of different um, features that you can play around with to your picture. If you don't like how it looks, you can completely delete it and start all over again. But this is such an affordable way, especially if a photographer is not in your budget, you can just kind of 
play around with it. Um, I'm not, I'm not really liking this because it doesn't look all that real. It looks photoshopped, and that's what you kind of want to avoid it looking. So let's try a different background just so you can see. Go to photos, and what backgrounds you can obviously use Canva for it and find a background of your choice. So let's try that fall. I like this one, so we're going to remove the winter one. And this is all if you're unable to travel or unable to find a photographer in your area that's affordable. So you're going to have to do what you have to do yourself. So we're going to try fall couple. So let's use this picture here. Maybe it'll work, maybe it will not. So especially, I would recommend that you take a lot of different pictures um, just to kind of see what works. And try to avoid to having stuff in the background. Try to have it as clean and clear as possible. So this right here, mm, it looks a little bit JCPenney-ish. And that's exactly what you kind of want to avoid. Like you want it to make it look as real as possible, you know, to give it that full effect, that look. Um, let's try that one. So we're going to move the other couple out the way. And we're going to try this. But well, hopefully you get the idea of what I'm what I mean by just improvising you know you got to fake it till you make it nobody doesn't have to know that you created these pictures yourself you and your spouse just took random pictures and now you're just playing with it on Canva and all you have to do afterwards is just um print print it out see that looks photoshop ish too so you let me try one more picture. Maybe I should change the background. And you really want like nice scenic scenery backgrounds. You don't want like a at home background unless you're able to, you know, Make it make sense, because that's all what it's about, making it make sense. Let's see how they would look. And sometimes the app may get stuck, and you can also do this on your computer too. Um, if you don't want to download another app, but this can be done on your mobile device or your computer. So this doesn't look too bad. So then you can add some text to it. Um, we can keep this and, you know, obviously you would change it to what you want it to be. So you can do something like that. You can also curve it neon you know you can ju you just have to play with Canva Canva will not let you down and then again when you're all said and done you can just print it out send it somewhere to be printed you can send it to the um so that right there wouldn't work because it's going to be over their heads and stuff like that but you guys get it. Let's do one more. Let's show, let me show you like a summertime one. So 
especially if you're having like a destination wedding or something. Let's give them. Let's give them some um. Some excitement. And again, you don't want it to be looking JC ish or Sears ish. You want it to be as neutral as possible. So that might not work. Or even if you are planning on, let's see. And again, this is all trying to just fake it till you make it. Nothing, nothing, um, nothing to be ashamed about because we all, you know, got to do it sometime. So let's try this one. This may not even work, but again, it's all about playing around and taking different pictures at different angles, different um, clothing, just different stuff to see what works and what does not work. But I hope that you enjoyed this video, and I hope that you will subscribe, follow, like, where, however you're viewing this video, and I will see you on the next tutorial. I also forgot to show you how to, so you can get a visual of if you're having a maternity, if you're pregnant, how to have a maternity photo shoot. So, of course, you will do the same thing. Take some pictures, pictures, pictures. And we're going to, I think before I did like a grand staircase. Just to kind of, you know, so you can choose this one. Let's delete the background. Let's move this around. Let's go back to photos, but of course you will be using your own photos and just changing the background. did one earlier. Let me see if it's still here. There we go. So, you can do the same thing. Remove that background. I'm only going to show you this one picture because I think by now you should get the hint of how to do it. But as you see, this looks, you know, pretty good. I'm not sure if you're able to really brighten up the picture. So you are, but you don't want to make it too off. So I think that right there should just be fine. And if anybody asks you what happened, you know, why does the picture look like that? You could just be like it was backlighting. You know, you like the photographer didn't. It would you don't blame it on the photographer. Just say it was like bad lighting, but you just really wanted to take the picture there. Not that you have to really give an explanation to anybody, but you can do something like this, and then like. Or even if you didn't want to use this as an invitation, so I'm not going to do that. You can just, you know, 
play around with it. Um, 